Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my first installation of a third party launcher on the Steam Deck. Now, I've been using the Steam Deck for over three weeks already, I think almost a month already, and I've been loving it the way it is installing games from the Steam OS. But the problem is, is that there's some games that you want to install from St from Epic or GOG or, or other places like that, that you have to go through extra steps to do that. Now, there's an easy way to do Epic and GOG. I'm going to do it the heroic way. There's a heroic launcher called, you know, it's a heroic launcher. And it's an open source program that lets you launch both Epic and GOG. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and do it. So right now, this is the default display right the default desktop for the steam deck right and what we want to do is we want to go to the desktop to the desktop so we're going to go ahead and press here go all over here to power and we're going to go ahead and switch to desktop okay it's going to go ahead and switch to desktop okay so now it's switched to desktop loaded up already right so i'm also going to be using my little mouse here so I don't be touching the screen too much. There you go. This is the, I did a video already. Uh, things to do, PC things to do with the Steam Deck. You might want to watch that video. So here, right, we have the Epic Store, the, not the Epic Store, but the Steam Store, which is the desktop version, the one that you get like in your normal computer, right? So we have that open. We're going to need it later on, right? Um, and right here, we want to go, let's go and zoom in so we can see this a little bit better here. Okay, so now we want to go ahead here, right? There's a couple of things I can see here in the bottom. Um, here, this is the discover, right, feature. It's going to click right there. And this is going to be basically like a little application store. So here we're going to go ahead and search for hero, right? It's going to tap right there or launch the uh, your keyboard and apply hero. Type in hero, right? Right there, right away, you're going to see that keyboard that appears right here. That program appears right here. Hero Launcher, right? This is what we want to install. So we're going to go ahead and install. Hit install there. Right? So that's going to go ahead and install. Now, keep in mind, if you're, you got the 512 version of the Steam Deck, this is the 64 gigabyte version. And you're just going to be playing games from the Steam Deck um ssd all you have to do is install this launch it and log into your accounts and that's it basically that's it but since i have the 64 version most of the, my games are going to be installed inside of the S um, sd card that i purchased so because of that we are going to install flat seal which is another program that's going to let us install games from the launchers any of the launchers to the sd card okay so once this is done, should be done pretty soon. Okay, so it, it completed, it completed. So right now we're gonna go ahead and launch, right? We're gonna hit launch right here. Da -da. It's gonna launch it. And uh, up. there you go. So right now here you got the Epic and you got the GOG, um, GOG launch right there. Uh, let's go ahead since we're here right now, right? Let's go ahead and log in right now so I can see my games, right? We're going to use any of the accounts. I'm going to use my account. So finally, we logged in into our Steam account. And like you see here, I can see all my games here. If some you think there's some games missing, you can hit refresh. And then we refresh and you'll see all the games that you, you know, have all on right there. But right now, let's go ahead and install the flat seal. It's going to click right here and we're going to click flat seal, right? This keyboard is not that good. I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> flat. Okay, there you go. There you go. So... We got the flat seal, this right here, we're gonna go ahead and open it up, right? This we're gonna go ahead and install. And uh, let's go and wait for that to install. I don't know how big is that, but it shouldn't be that big, right? Okay, this is our installing task. It's not the, these programs are pretty small. Like you see there, it already launched. I uh, already installed, so we're gonna go ahead and hit launch here. And there you go. So here we got all the applications that you have installed. 
so now that we install flat seal we're gonna go ahead and go to file manager right file manager uh, right here oh, not that that's the store file manager we're gonna go all the way down it says removable devices hit primary primary is basically the SD card right removable device is the SD card we're gonna click right here it says primary and you're gonna see the exact address of the path that we need to copy in flat seal so we're gonna go ahead and copy that uh, keep in mind that front slash don't copy it just copy everything prior the flash you see there the front slash right there don't copy it because then you're gonna get a mistake or let's show you guys what happens if you copy everything right let's copy everything copy let's close that now let's go back to flat seal right we got the application it should be installed right here flat seal boom we got flat seal so we're going to go to the target application which is heroic right we're going to use in heroic and we're going to go all the way down where it says file system in the file system we got other files so we're going to click right here and right here we're going to go ahead and paste the path that we just copied right so we're going to hit the keyboard again right hit the keyboard um here you got the paste button right here which is cool that you have the paste button on the keyboard click right there and voila right but look what happens you when you paste exactly how you did with the front slash that icon stays orange it says this is not a valid option so you want to that front slash you want to back boom and now it turns blue so here see it's blue it's blue we're good now so we are done here right let's go and click that right and now we're gonna go ahead and relaunch heroic launcher heroic launcher should be here of course there you go heroic launcher relaunch it again and now you should be able to like for example select the game select the install right this is a small game alan wakes nightmare uh, it's going to select the smaller game right um, something smaller that can install fast loop hero this is a small game uh install path right here this is the default path right it says space available 45 gigabyte storage that's the internal storage uh, we're going to click right here and we're going to click find the path right here right bump there you go I found the path right here this is way easier than i've seen videos so here is a hair we got the steam and right here we're going to go ahead and add or create a new folder right here so if we click right here that says uh like create new folder uh we can go ahead and name this uh let's go ahead and name it um epic right let's go and name it epic or heroic let me go let's go ahead and name it epic That way we know that Epic Games will be installed there. Okay. That's it. We got Epic Games. Boom. We got a folder name named Epic Games. Go back. Go back. Make sure it's highlighted. Right? Make sure it's actually highlighted. Don't click in it. Make sure it's actually highlighted. The folder that we created. And click choose. Once we click choose. Boom. There it is. Now you can see the actual size of the micro SD card. You can see that right there. And we can go ahead and click install. That's it. That's all we got to do. But another thing is, right, let's say, okay, installation started right here. Uh, let's say, let's go ahead here to settings. Uh, make sure this right here, it says minimize heroic after game launcher. Make sure that is selected, right? Make sure that is selected. Another thing we could do here, that way we don't have to do the same thing on every damn game that we try to install. Just go ahead here in settings. It says default installation path. Let's go and choose the default installation path, the card, right? The, the card that we're going to choose. It's already selected right here, right? We want to highlight it. There you go. We want to actually highlight it. There you go. It's actually highlighted. Epic Games. Click choose. There you go. So now our default launcher or path is going to be that card with the with the uh, 
with the folder that we created. I created, I said Epic Games, but you can name it whatever you want. If you, you want to name it Heroic or Epic Games, whatever you want to put it, name it, you could do that. So now we're done. So this is the only thing you got to do, right? We got that done. We got that done. We got that done. Bump, right? Um, oh, another thing you want to do here is go to Steam, right? That way we can actually see uh, the Heroic Launcher when we launch to the normal Steam OS. We're going to go to um, Games here, add non-Steam Games. And we're going to look for the Steam, uh, a Heroic Launcher here. There it is. Heroic Launcher, Game Launcher. Add Selected. So now, like you see here, this is my library of games. And it's going to be right there. Oops. It's right there. Heroic Launcher. Right there. So you go ahead and close, right? Go return back to gaming mode, which is going to take us back to the normal Steam OS layout that we know. There you have it. It's loading up. Nice. So there it is. Game launcher right there. Keep in mind here we're going to use our buttons. So here we go to the library, right? The non Steam, we got the heroic game launcher. Hit the heroic game launcher. Right, and uh, we can go ahead and oh wait a second, let me see if the game that we installed right appears here as installed. Like we did loop here, right? Let me see if it appears here. Nope, nope. You actually have to install. You have to actually launch the heroic launcher. Okay, so let's go to heroic. Let's go and start. Bum, bum, and that's going to load up. Remember, the cool thing is that it's always going to remember your login for Epic. That's awesome because you don't have to be entering uh, every time your login. That's so annoying, especially with Ubisoft. Um, let's go ahead here and see if they actually saved our settings here. Yep. See, run media, blah, 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 Epic Games, and launcher, minimize. That's good. And we got Loop Hero right here. Click right there, and we can start playing it from right here. Let's see if it doesn't load up. You know, sometimes there'll be like an error saying that uh, this game might not be compatible or something like that. You might want to do like the um, the proton. You might want to choose a proper proton for, and then it'll it'll launch. Look at that, the game. One thing that we didn't see was, you know, when you launch the game on the normal Steam OS that you see the controller layout that it's going to be using, we didn't see that here, which is kind of weird, which I guess since you're launching the game from the Epic Launcher, not Steam OS, I guess you're not going to see that, the configuration that you're going to be using. We're going to quit here. Okay, and like I said, if I want to install another game, I could go ahead right here. For example, if I want to install Darksiders 2, I want to go ahead and see if it actually saved it. Okay, install. But you see that automatically the folder is actually selected. You can see the size of the 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 actual size of the SD card. You don't have to do, keep changing it if you do it over there. And all you got to do is install. That's it. You can start installing into the SD card. That is it, guys. So we finally did that. This is my first launcher that I do here on the Steam. I don't want to install too many launchers here. So I want to just keep it like that. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about it. Till next time. Bye-bye.